Hello everyone, this is Mumbo, and welcome back to another Redstone video, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the Toggleable Nether Cube. Now the idea behind this one really is quite simple, it takes your standard four nether portals put together to make a square, and it turns them into a toggleable design using Redstone. I think it's pretty cool, so let's take a closer look. Now one quick thing that I just want to mention at the start of today's video is you may notice that all of these nether portals are 3x3. Unfortunately, I tried my best to make it with the standard two wide design, but sadly, I couldn't make it work with the specifications that I had. First off, I didn't want to use fire charges because that's really quite expensive. And secondly, didn't want any redstone going up the outside because I think that would look fairly rubbish. And that meant that I couldn't really fit all of the redstone on the inside of the cube. So I settled for a three by three design and I have to say, I think it looks pretty good. Now, if you flick this lever here, you can see that all of the nether portals get turned off. And if you just head around the back, I'll make sure that you can see that all of them are currently switched off. Then when we flick this lever once again, they all get reignited all at the same time, and it looks pretty decent. Now that we've stripped away all of the blocks and the design is completely naked, we can see all of the redstone behind this thing. And I have to say, I'm going to pat myself on the back for this one because I think I've done a pretty decent job here. The redstone is extremely compact, fully self-contained within the edges of the nether portals, and it's also very, very slim indeed. You can see that we have used pretty much all of the available space, and that's always a good thing with the redstone contraptions. Now, as far as redstone resources are concerned, there's quite a few repeaters, as you can see, and there's also a handful of sticky pistons. Obviously, you're going to need a handful of dispensers as well, and quite a bit of obsidian, but other than that, should be fairly simple. So let's crack on and I'll show you how to build it. So you want to get things started with a 5x5 area and as you can see I have constructed our nether cube on top. Now one very important thing that I want to mention is the fact that all of these corners are missing. That's because we need to make space for the monostable circuit and that's the only location that they can go. But anyway as far as building it is concerned all you have to do is place a block right here. A comparator running straight into that block. We'll place the thing that runs into the comparator in a couple seconds, but we're going to be doing this in a fairly strange order here. So then you just want to place a redstone dust underneath this block right here. Repeaters are running out from that redstone dust. Take out both of these blocks and place now sticky pistons facing upwards with blocks on top. These are going to create your monostable circuits that create the timing circuits to allow us to pulse the water running out. Then what you want to do is you want to place a repeater that's going to be running out into a block with redstone going across like this, and then another repeater right here with a block right there. Now you want to place a redstone dust on top of that block, blocks on either side like this, a block here with a repeater running into another block, with a block here, a block here, and redstone dust in the middle. Now this is going to be powering all of your dispensers. Next up, you want to head over to your other monostable circuit, place a piece of redstone dust right there, a block like this, a repeater, and then another block here, a repeater set to two ticks, and that's going to be running into this block right here. So now you've got yourself a double pulsing circuit, we can start chucking in all of the dispensers. You just want to place a dispenser like this, and then you want to place a block on top of that one, and a dispenser right there. And then you pretty much want to repeat the same thing again for all of your orange blocks. So that's just block like that, and then a dispenser right there, and then do the same thing over here. So it's dispenser facing outwards, and then a block, and then a dispenser right there. And finally, dispenser, block, and then a dispenser again. Then you can fill in all of the area between all of the dispensers, because we're now going to be filling in the redstone in the middle. So now that you've got yourself a solid looking nether cube, what you wanna do is place a upside down half slab right in the middle here. Then on top of that one, you're gonna place some redstone dust and you're gonna run that out in all directions like this. Now your input for the circuit can go on any of these pieces of redstone dust. So I'm going to be chucking my one down here. But anyway, now what you wanna do is go right the way down to the bottom, make a hole in the bottom and place a sticky piston on the underside of that half slab there with a cauldron here and then some water on the inside of that cauldron. So that's that one done. And now what you wanna do is you wanna chuck water buckets into all of your bottom dispensers, just like this. So we're going to place those in like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So that is water in both of those dispensers there. And then for your top ones, you wanna chuck some flint and steel on the inside of those. That's what's going to be igniting your nether portal. So now let's place in all of these and we'll give it a test. So if you flick the lever once, you can see that the nether portal is ignited. And if we flick the lever again, you can see that the water is dispensed and all of the nether portal goes away. So let's just try that again. Flick the lever and then flick the lever and you can see it is working like a charm. So there we have it, ladies and gents. That is your toggleable nether cube all done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.